Components are predefined models and libraries that can be placed as instances in Bonsai 3D projects. They are similar in nature to what other applications call symbols, blocks, or assemblies. Here we show a few predefined components that come with Bonsai 3D, which are placed from the components palette. In this Bonsai 3D tutorial, we'll look at the Place Component and Create Component tools, which are located in the Specialties suite of icons. To place a component, select the Place Component tool. Then select a component from the Components palette, which is automatically invoked when the Place tool is active. Then click in the Modeling window and the component is placed perpendicular to the active reference plane, or perpendicular to the face of an existing object. Bonsai 3D comes with numerous predefined components organized in libraries, which are installed with the program. Just click on any component from any library and it's ready to be placed into your project. The Tool Options palette contains the placement options. It should be noted that all of these parameters can be set before or after the component is placed. If Fixed is selected, the component is placed with a single click. If dynamic rotation is selected, then the first click places the component and the second click determines the rotation. And the dynamic rotation and scale option requires two clicks. The first one places it and the second one sets the rotation and the scale. If place on active layer is on, then the component is placed in the active layer, which is designated with a red dot in the first column in the layer's palette. If this option is off, then the objects in the component are placed in the original layers they were created in. This will cause new layers to be added to your project if they don't already exist. If Use Current Material is off, then the objects in the component come in with the original materials assigned to them when the component was created. If this option is on, then the active material in the materials palette is temporarily assigned to all the objects in the component. The Align with View option forces the component to always face your current view. This is very useful when placing components that are flat 2D objects, otherwise known as billboards. Place a component with this option off, and observe that when you spin the view, you can see the edge view of the 2D component. If you place another component with this option on, observe that when you spin the view, this component always aligns with your current view. Although this option is most useful for 2D components, you can also use it on 3D components as well. Here we place a 3D component and spin the view to observe that even 3D objects will always face the camera. The last parameter is the Mirror Component option, which does exactly what its name implies. The component is mirrored when placed. To change any of these parameters after the component is placed, simply pick the component with the Pick tool and click on the Parameters tab in the Tool Options palette, and all the parameters we just examined can be changed for the selected component or multiple selected components. You can even replace selected components with another component by dragging and dropping a new item from the Components palette onto the Tool Options palette, and the selected components in your model are replaced. Let's look at another way to place components in your project. You can download items from the 3D Warehouse website. In the Components palette, click on the arrow to expand the palette, then click on the Add Component from 3D Warehouse button. You are then automatically taken to the 3D Warehouse website where you can search for your desired model. Once you find the model that you want, just click on the Download Model button. And the model is automatically converted to a Bonsai 3D file and stored as a component in your Downloads library. The chair we've downloaded is ready to be placed in our project, just like any other component. It's just that easy. It should be noted that Mac OS 10.5 may not automatically convert the file into a Bonsai 3D file. If this happens, then simply use File Import and import the downloaded file into your Bonsai 3D project. It should be noted that all the components you place in your project are embedded with the Bonsai 3D file in the project library. This allows you to open this file on any other machine without having to drag along all the component libraries and or materials. In addition, you can place an existing component again by selecting it here in the project library.